Hello everyone. In today's WorkFusion RPA Express Tutorial 5, we will learn about one of the action libraries, conditions. So let's start. This slide talks about the types of conditions available in the action library. If else, and nested if else. The behavior of these conditions is similar to that of any other programming language like C, C++ or Java, wherein the, if the condition is true, a certain set of action is performed, else another set of action is performed that are present in the else loop. Likewise, the nested if else is a condition within a condition. So if the first set of conditions are true, or if the first condition is true, the consecutive condition or set of actions are executed and so on. So let's have a demo on this set of action library. In this slide, as you see, we'll be building a sample project. It will be an extension to our previous tutorial on the loops. So we'll be using the same project that we built for loops for each and repeat and extend it to add certain conditions over it. So we may, we'll add a condition where we'll try to match an item from the list. And if that condition is true, we will replace it with some other string and print it in the Excel. Else, if the condition is false, it will, in the else loop, we will paste the item as is in the Excel. So let's begin the demo. Here you can see we are using the same project iteration loop dot rpa wherein we have we had defined a variable of type list and stored values as how are you today separate as separate items and iterated through these values or, or list per se and printed it on the excel so the iteration was handled by the for each loop and then after each item we had repeated an action that is pressing the down key twice which was handled by the repeat loop. So let's proceed with adding the conditions over the over these set of scripts using the if else conditions that is one of the action library that we'll be learning today. So let's begin. Let's select the if else condition from the conditions tab in the action library. Here you can see there, there, is, there are double quotes followed by an equal to sign and another double quotes and then you can see a script then true and else true so what we are going to do is we will use the item variable from the list here item will be pointing to each and every item in that list variable that is how are you today it will and we have put this condition under the for each loop so every time a loop gets executed the condition will be performed where we will try to match the item value with a string that is today so here we are trying to match the item and check if it contains a substring as today then if the condition is true we will replace it with dear so we'll replace that item that matches today with the value dear 
else if this condition is false here we'll add a script under the else true and that script that we added under else true will do nothing but print the item as is Okay, so now let's play the recording and see how the scripts get executed and how if the item matches today, it replaces with another string that is dear. Else if it does not match, it will print, it will print the item as is. Now as you see, since the first item did not match, neither the second and the third, so it's printing as is. But the fourth, fourth item did match, which is why it replaced it with dear. If you recollect, the fourth item in the list was today, as you can see. So since the condition went true, so it replaced the fourth item today with dear. So here you can see all the scripts are green. So it means all, all, the, all the scripts got executed successfully. And since we had a match, it got replaced with a variable. Now let's modify the replacing string to dear question mark and let's play the recording. So what we did is if uh, the item matches uh, with or it contains a substring today, we will replace that item with dear question mark this time. So as you can see, the script is executed successfully and we can see dear question mark being printed instead of today. Now let's move on to the next uh, part that is nested conditions so here you can see we'll we are adding the if else condition under the else true script that we had already created what we'll do here is if the first condition that is if the item does not match today it will move on to the else true loop wherein it will execute another condition and in this condition, we are trying to match the items from the list to a substring. How? And if the match is true, Then we are going to replace that string, that, that item that matched with the string who. So if the first condition did not match, we will move on to the else loop, else condition wherein we will match the item again with another string how and if that condition gets true, we will replace that item with so here you can see there are conditions within the conditions and this is termed as a nested loop. Now let's play the recording and see what happens. This is an old Excel that got popped up. Yeah. So this is a new one. It's printing how are you? dear as is because the first condition still holds true but the loop within the else condition failed
Now, if you see, we had made a mistake where we would be, we were using a small case H to match, which is why it printed how as is. This time we changed it to an uppercase H. So if you can see, it's printing, it, it's printing who are you dear. It did match with the else, with the condition that we created in the else loop. And it replaced the matched item how with who. So our condition within the condition did get executed. Fine. That's all for today. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment box and I'll try to reply to it. Thank you.